for us as a department, for us as a state, uh, for me personally, this is a very, very special day. Uh, when I was probably around 10 years old, my father took me to the old lab facility on Grand Terre. Um, and I went inside that place and I saw all those specimens in the library. And I said to myself, I'm going to work there one day. When I graduated high school, I came back as a student worker at the lab for a summer. And then I was lucky enough uh, when I graduated college to come back and work at that lab for seven years. Um, it's, it's a little emotional for, for, for all of the old Grand Terre Lab alumni to see the old place shut down and, and probably be demolished. But I think this facility speaks for itself and there's a lot to be proud of over here for sure. There's a lot of good things that have come out of here. For you people that you buy your shrimp, I want you to know the brown shrimp, the capital of the, of the brown shrimp is right here in Grand Isle. The Brazilian brown shrimp is right here, caught off of Grand Isle and Barry estuaries. So we have a crop here. We have the wildlife fisheries here. And our dream is to get the college kid that leaves our high school anywhere in the parishes. We want to get these kids in this building to help us to better our fishing industry, the oysters, the fish, the crabs, and the speckled trouts to bring our recreational fishermen and our commercial fishermen together so we can go ahead and enjoy the natural resources right here. And of all the places in Louisiana, I'm so proud today. I wish my father was alive to see this because to be proud to have a nice facility in Grand Isle and believe it or not, Mr. Secretary, in Washington, D.C., the council and myself, we use this building saying that it is feasible to come in and invest money in Grand Isle. So this put an earmark to FEMA saying, I can't believe they're building this type of building on your island. Well, I said, go take a ride behind Ludwig Street and see what the state's doing. And they looked at it and said, you know what? At the same time, we didn't have a gym, we didn't have a fire department. But guess what? It all happened in the last week. So we want to thank the state for pushing this project. And as far as I'm concerned, as far as Louisiana along the coast, you picked the best spot. And let's give a good hand for Wildlife and Fishery to pick that. And one last minute. I'd like to say is hopefully some of our students from Grand Isle School, which we have classes from 13 to 8 that graduated, hopefully that we can see them going to college at our local colleges in Louisiana and coming back. And our dream is to see these kids come back anywhere else, anywhere else from the state of Louisiana to come in and get a little office. And that's our dream, is to keep our kids home. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. It is an honor to be here. Such a great facility. Uh, I know it was on Grand Terre before, but the access and, and I guess the technology that goes with, with uh, today uh, is, is a, a reality in Grand Isle. Grand Isle is the end of our, our District 54, but when I leave La Rose, born and raised on the bayou, there's always that rainbow, and at the end of the rainbow, is Grand Dow. And believe you me, without you guys and gals, I wouldn't be here today. But I'm proud to be serving you, you as your state rep. And I wish I could say I put this together, but I'm glad to say I'm here to share it with you. Thank you. I'm, I'm tickled to see such a, a great building be, being built on Grand Isle, a $23 million facility for fisheries research, 35,000 square foot. And the fisheries are vital to Louisiana, and this shows that Louisiana really does care and, and will proceed to protect our fisheries in Louisiana. From, from resource sampling to research work, biologists, sports, sports fish restoration programs, artificial reef programs. And then I represent Terrebonne and Lafourche Parish, and, and I'm very proud to see such a great facility on Grand Isle. Like I said, this is a great achievement. You know, uh, we're committed to funding wildlife and fisheries as long as we're along with natural resources, and we, we look forward to the achievement of, of what's coming out of this building with, with the leadership of Secretary Borum. I think we're going to have a great facility. Thank you very much. Y'all all noted the survival of these coastal communities throughout uh, South Louisiana has been my top priority in my entire 21 years as an elected official. 
in uh, 14 years now in the state legislature. Grand Isle is not the only sole in bar inhabited Barry Island in Louisiana. It is literally the beachfront, the beachfront for the future of South Louisiana. Because I'm going to tell you, so goes Grand Isle, so goes the rest of South Louisiana eventually. If we can make Grand Isle resilient, we can allow people to continue to live and reside and work and play down here, we will have a much better future for Louisiana. But this Wildlife and Fisheries and the state of Louisiana's commitment to put this $23 million facility on Grand Isle demonstrated and shows the rest of the nation, showed Congress, showed FEMA, it can be done, it can be built, and it can be built right. This facility is really as good and comparable to any marine lab in the United States of America. We ought to be so proud of it in Louisiana. Uh, Chef John Folds, who there's no better ambassador for Louisiana than John Folds. And we were visiting before the event started. Louisiana and Alaska, those two states produce over half the seafood in America. Louisiana leads the nation in the production of blue crab, shrimp, and oysters. And the research that it will take to keep us number one will be done right here on Grand Isle at this lab. This facility will be the cornerstone of what will keep Louisiana at the forefront of the seafood industry. <laughs> Enjoy the day. Thank you for being here. And take a look and be proud of your marine laboratory.